Um, another team that had a big win on the road, three Penn State at Wisconsin. They win 28 to 13. Uh, Drew Aller had an injury at mm. halftime left, um, cussed out a fan or somebody, which was hilarious. He said, hey, who the F are you? Sit the F down. Uh, mm. I was like a little fiery from Drew Aller, which is something you normally <laughs> don't see because he, he's kind of a quiet guy. But um, Bo, Bo Prabula comes in, Trace McSorley 2.0, mm. and mm. I was Rocks impressed, man. What'd you say? Even rocks the number nine, like Trace. Yeah, exactly. Rocks the number nine. 11 to 13, 98 yards, one touchdown. Also had 28 yards on the ground. Like, hey, step in a game, a hostile environment, a must win for a, for a three-ranked team. I was thoroughly impressed from him because he's one of those rushing quarterbacks that came in, and I thought his vision was spot on. I thought he looked comfortable. He never was, like, terrified of the moment. Um, and this is a big win. I mean, we texted back and forth. Although Penn State struggled and – their, their only score, I think, in the second half until they started rattling off some points was that pick six from Jaden Reed, but mm -hmm. um, for Jalen Reed. But I mean, Penn State, well, they're one of those teams where they get the momentum, offense starts clicking. Katron Allen and Nicholas Singleton, it was good to see those two implemented more in the offense. Julian Fleming had a bad drop, but made a good catch. And Tyler Warren had his own too. But um, talk to me before you saw from this Penn State team. And one thing I'll add is. That defense, when they have a lead and they need to close out a game, they know for sure how to close one out. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. By the way, uh, two crazy, really three crazy backup quarterbacks, Marcel Reed from Texas A&M, Taven Jackson, Indiana, and now Mr. Perbula from Penn State. Whoa, quality depth. Quality depth shows when you're able to go to your second string quarterback and he's able to have the success that these guys are having. But I think you said it, man. That pit. That Penn State defense, my goodness. Like, I know we talk about teams like Oregon and we talk about teams like Georgia, but, you know, Penn State, I think this might be the quietest number three ranked team maybe ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. nobody's talking about them. And I feel like that defense, let me look at the stats here. They had five sacks, or sorry, zero sacks, five tackles for loss. But to be able to hold a Wisconsin team to under 300, anytime you hold any offense under 300 yards of total offense at their place, that to me is like, you can't, it's hard to quantify stuff like that. Like the ability to shut down a team in their own building. Um, and I think they did the same thing to USC in the second half of that game. Um, but yeah, no, Penn State, your defense looks solid. Your backup quarterback looks Every bit as good as um, Mr. Drew Aller, who, by the way, before he went out, let's look at the numbers, 14 of 18, 148 yards and a touchdown. So he was, combined, he was dying. Yeah, combined, they went 25 of 31 for 246 and two touchdowns. You're going to win a lot of games when you're that efficient. So um, hats off to them. Penn State, Coach Franklin, you guys look really, really good. And I think maybe they've, they've been drawing kind of a little bit of confidence from the fact that they know that, hey, we probably should have been in the playoff about – seven or eight times if it was a 12 team playoff and now that they're able to do it it's almost like you can kind of feel their energy a little bit even though like i said they kind of feel like a quiet like the quietest number three top ranked team in the country right now no one yeah they were about. they were down at halftime too they were down 10 to 7 yeah. um my, my dad texted me he said you think penn state's gonna come back and win this game and i just i had a feeling i think penn state has so much talent and you're right when you talk about ohio state this was definitely a look-ahead game for Penn State. I know they were yeah. definitely looking ahead against Ohio State, but, man, Ohio State, Penn State next week. Penn State making a lot of noise. You can win that game against Ohio State. You'll definitely be back on the train. A um, couple more games here, and then we'll get into quarterbacks by